Hi there, my name's Mrs. Jenkins. I wanted to take a look with you today at probability and statistics. We're going to take a look at two key concepts in discussing probability and statistics, and the first one is the fundamental counting principle. What the fundamental counting principle says is that if you have a number of events that occur in, well, a number of different ways, two different ways, M and N, or 3 M, N, and P, could be more than that too, then the total number of ways that all the events could occur is found by multiplying together those values. If we had two different things, we would multiply the two different numbers together. If we wanted to do M, N, and P, we would take M times N times P. For example, and to help you see it a little bit better, let's say that you're going to a deli, and you can order a sandwich on one of the four kinds of bread, wheat, white, rye, or sourdough. And then you pick one kind of meat, and you have three choices, ham, turkey, or roast beef. So here we're looking at two different events. The first one here has four different options. The second one has three. Now, how many different kinds of sandwiches could be made with these combinations? I want you to take a minute and actually write up a list. You could have wheat ham, you could have turkey on wheat, you could have roast beef on wheat, etc. See if you can get the total number, then click continue at the bottom of the screen when you've gotten it. Whether you listed out the different number of different sandwiches you could have, or you were able to calculate four different kinds of bread, three different kinds of meat, when you write those out, you should have 12 different sandwiches, 4 times 3. Now that's using the fundamental counting principle. The next thing I wanted to take a look at with you in probability and statistics is permutations. Now permutations have to do with an ordering, and an ordering of a certain number of objects. For this first example here, we're going to look at ordering these three objects. The objects, the letters, A, B, and C. Now you can see, here's all the different ways that that could be ordered. A, B, C. A, C, B, etc. And there's six different ways in which we could order these three letters. When you're looking at permutations and ordering N objects, you can calculate the number that you'll have by using this here, N with what looks like an exclamation point. It's actually called N factorial. Here we have three objects, so we would be looking at three factorial. Three your first number, then you multiply it by decreasing values till you get to 1. 3 times 2 times 1, and that's 6. You'll see we have 6 ways here. Now let's look at another example. What if I'm looking at the letters in Florida? How many different ways could I order these 7 different letters? Think about that one again, and to check back in, click Continue. It would be quite a list if you actually wrote out the different ways that you could order these seven different letters. But we know it's going to be seven factorial, or seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. And our grand total, seven factorial, 5,040. I hope that this has helped you better understand probability and statistics, but if you need any other help with your algebra homework or more help with this topic, sign back up for Nutshell Math, and I'll hope to see you there.